Okay, so we're going to look at identifying factors and using those to factorise polynomials. So if you haven't watched the videos on factorising polynomials by synthetic division or factoring polynomials by um, long division, you should go back and watch those. They'll be at the end of the video, there'll be a link to those, don't worry. Um, okay, so you need to go and look at them if you've not looked at them before now. Right, so when we have a polynomial, we've got, for example, f of x is equal to x cubed minus 7x minus 6. Okay, when we're identifying factors for the polynomial, all we're doing for the next little while will be factorizing polynomials. Okay, um, but there's a few different, like when we were factorising in National 5, there's a few different steps you can end up having to take. Sometimes they will give you the factors, quite often they won't. And if they don't give you the factors, you have to work them out. And the way we work them out is by looking at our last number. Right, so this is where we're going to start. So we know our factors have got to end up giving us 6. We also know that the factors of a polynomial, that the f of a equals 0, if that is a factor. So we can try a bunch of numbers into our function until we find a factor. So first of all, it's easy to start with 1. Okay, so we're going to trial and error while looking at the factors of that last number. So if we try 1, it's going to be 1 cubed minus 7 times 1 minus 6, which is 1 minus 7 minus 6, which is minus 12. So it's not a factor. So we try the next one. Okay, another option because we have a negative in here somewhere is that it's a negative, so we can try negative 1. So we're going to have negative 1 cubed minus 7 times negative 1 minus 6. So we have negative 1 plus 7 minus 6, which is equal to 0. So now that we've found that factor, we can say, therefore, um, as f of minus 1 equals 0, that x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, once we have a factor, we can use the synthetic division to find our quotient. Okay, so I'm going to do it over at the side because we tend to use A4 paper. I do this over at the side. It's not a problem if you do it underneath, but I'm going to run out of space as well. So we've got our x cubed, our x squared, our x and our constant. Remember, going down um, in powers from largest to smallest. You're always looking for, you need to have them all there, even if there's zero. So we've got one, we've got minus seven. No, we don't. That's where we need to be careful. The minus seven doesn't go there. Our x squared one is in fact zero. Minus seven is the x term, and then we've got minus six as our constant. And our factor, the number we put in is minus one. So that goes out there. We bring the 1 down, we multiply by minus 1, which gives us minus 1. Then we add down the way, so 0 add minus 1 is minus 1. We go across and we multiply times minus 1, we get 1. Then we add those together and we get minus 6. Then we move it across and we're multiplying. So multiply by minus 1, which gives us 6. Add those together and we get 0. Something that's really important to write is as the remainder is 0, x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, I know I've kind of written it over there, but it's better to write things more than once and cover ourselves than to forget. Okay, um, so then we have 
f of x is equal to x plus 1. And then our second bracket comes from here. That's our x squared. That's our x. That's our constant. So we have x squared minus x minus 6. So we have x plus 1. And then we've got this here. So we've got x at the front of both of our brackets. Minus 6. So we've got x at the front of both of our brackets. Our options are going to be 6 and 1 or 3 and 2 are our only kind of options. We've got to get minus 1 from those, so that's got to be minus 3 plus 2. So we get x minus 3, x plus 2. Right, so that is it for finding this. It's just using it, identifying the factor is the only step that's new. Okay, so, so what we're doing for this, we just as like a little step to identify the factors before we factorize, what we have to do is look at the constant. Okay. And then we try factors of the constant until we get the f of x equals zero. Okay, so that's all it is, and then we're using synthetic division as we did before. Right, so thank you for watching this. If you've got any questions, let me know. Same as always, please like, please comment, and please subscribe if these have been helpful. And we will be going on to look at factorizing polynomials that have larger coefficients of x, our largest one, and that video will be here, and the previous video should be somewhere here. Thanks guys!